Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video about reactivity I want to show you how you can dynamically add watcher methods to your reactives. So the example here is I have this simple app that has a counter and a progress bar. And this button here that's associated with the counter I want that I want it to update the progress bar as well. So I'm clicking plus 10 the counter is being incremented, but I do not see the increment happening on the progress bar. So in code, I have this counter widget. It has my counter reactive. It's composed of a button. Whenever I do a button press, the counter increments by 10. And you can see here, there's also a validate method to make sure that the counter never goes above 100. And then my application has a progress bar. And I want to tie the counter reactive to the progress bar. Now I could have a watch method on the counter and I could have the watch method access the app and then the progress bar and then change the value of the progress bar there. But the issue with that approach is that I'm coupling this widget that's, this is a standalone widget. This is perfectly fine as a standalone widget and I'm coupling it to the app, to the specific app I have and I don't want that. So a watch method on my counter widget is not a good option. However, what I can do is I can have inside my application, I can create, I can create a dynamic watch method and say, okay, run this method to update the progress bar whenever the, the counter is updated. And so what I'll do is on mount, so when my application is mounted, I'll do the following. I'll define a method so let's call it, I don't know, update progress bar. And this method will accept the counter value. And what it will do is it will query the app for the progress bar. And it's going to set its progress to the counter value. And now that I've defined this function, what I'll do is I'll do self.watch and so this method this watch method lets me create dynamic watches and so what am i watching um, i'm watching on my counter object i'm watching the value of counter and whenever this changes i want to run this callback and so if i save and if i rerun my application uh, i did something wrong forgive me Watch takes the name callback. What? So I'm incrementing the counter. I'm watching the counter itself. And then I update the progress bar. Um, and why does it say it cannot compare reactives and ints? Could it be that I'm, sorry, I'm not watching the, yeah. Um, I'm not watching the class counter. I want to watch the instance of counter I have. This should be it. That's why I had an issue there. Okay, let's make this fit the screen. So now if I rerun it, yeah, exactly. Now I can press the button and the progress bar updates. So just a quick recap of my issue, my error. What, so the self.watch method, it accepts the object that has the reactive I care about and it's this specific counter instance. It, it was not the counter, the class, it's this instance that's inside my application that I can access by querying my app. Then I, get, I give it the name of the reactive I care about and then I give it a callback that gets called whenever the reactive changes. So in this case, it's this method that's going to update the progress bar. So this is an example of how to use or how to dynamically add a watcher to a reactive. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you already know, feel free to drop a comment on the, on the comment section below or join our Discord server if you want some more help. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.